Okay, in this video we're going to look at a solution to Putnam problem A1 from the 2015 exam. And so let's look at the problem. So we want to let A and B be points on the same branch of the hyperbola xy equals 1, and P is also on the hyperbola between the points A and B in a way that the area of triangle APB is maximum. So as large as possible. And so our goal is to show that the area of the region bound by the hyperbola and the line segment AP is the same thing as the area of the region bound by the hyperbola and the line segment BP. So in order to wrap our heads around that, I've made a little drawing here. So notice here we have the hyperbola, xy equals 1. So that's y equals 1 over x. And here we're looking at the branch that's in the first quadrant. You could similarly do this with the branch in the um, third quadrant, but we're going to stick to the first quadrant. So I've got a point A and a point B on the hyperbola. There's my point P, which is on the hyperbola, and I've just like sketched it out, and we want to think that this triangle is as big as possible. Um, and then what we want to show is that this little sliver here, which I've colored in blue, I don't know how visible it is, is the same area as this sliver right here covered, or, uh, colored in blue. So good. That's our goal. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is wrap our heads around what this point P is. And in order to do that, we're actually just going to use techniques from Calculus 1, you know, finding ex extreme values and such. And in fact, we're going to uh, tackle this whole problem using techniques from Calculus 1. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at the equations of the lines that we need. So we need the line AB, AP, and BP. So, the line AB has an equation given by the following. So we have YAB equals, oh, and before I get started, I guess I should coordinate, coordinateify this. So let's say this is the point A comma 1 over A. This is the point B comma 1 over B. And then this guy right here, P, since this is in some ways some sort of variable point, we'll write this as T comma 1 over T, and then this T is variable between A and B to make this uh, area of this triangle maximum. Okay, great. So now we're back to it. This line uh, AB can be written with the following equation. So we have minus 1 over ABX plus... 1 over A plus 1 over B. So I just used the point slope form of the line, calculating the slope using change of Y over change of X. So uh, it's quite simple to get to that. Okay, so now let's look at a line AP and see what we get for that. So um, we'll denote that by YAP and that's going to be given by uh, minus 1 over ATX plus 1 over A plus 1 over T. So you can see these have a pretty standard form, um, which means we can just write down um, BP similarly. So YBP, so that's going to be minus 1 over BTX plus 1 over B plus 1 over T. Okay. Good. Now the next thing we want to do is calculate the area of this triangle. So since the area of this triangle is going to depend on this value t, which defines the point p, I'll call that a of t, and that's the thing that we're going to want to maximize. So notice the area of this uh, triangle can be found in the following way. So this is the integral from a to t of y a b minus y a p dx. So notice uh, between x equals a and x equals t we have a b is on the top and then this line right here a p is on the bottom so that's why we have that difference. Okay good and now we have the integral from t to b of y a b minus y b p dx. So that's going to give us the area of uh, this triangle. 
Okay, good. So now what we'll do is we'll, we would plug those values of the lines into these integrals and uh, calculate. So maybe I'll write the next step. So this is going to be the integral from a to t of 1 over um, a t minus 1 over a b of x or times x plus 1 over b minus 1 over t and so all of that is dx okay so that's what we get from the first one and then uh, from the second one we have the integral from t to b and in that case we get 1 over bt minus 1 over ab times x and then this will be plus 1 over a minus 1 over t, and now we have dx. Okay, great. So um, I'm going to clean up the board. I'll move this maybe up over there to the left, and then we'll finish calculating this. We may just jump to what this uh, calculation is, because notice these are just definite integrals of linear functions, so that's pretty simple. Okay, so jumping to having taken that definite integral, we get the following for this area A of T. So we get A minus B, A minus T, B minus T, that's all in the numerator, and then over twice A, B, T. So let's see, that makes sense because if A and B are the same point, then we have a degenerate triangle and we should have the area is zero. And furthermore, if T equals A or T equals B, we also have a degenerate triangle and the area should be equal to zero. So um, that's good. Now from here, what we can do is take uh, the derivative of this. So we can take the derivative of this, and again, we would just use the quotient rule here. It's pretty straightforward stuff, and we would get the following. So we'll have A minus B times t squared minus ab all over uh, 2ab t squared. Okay. And so notice t is not allowed to be zero because that would uh, not be in the first quadrant, which we've decided we're in the first quadrant. Okay, so that means we're just looking for the places where this is equal to zero. So if we set this equal to zero, then uh, we clearly solve and we get t equals the positive square root of a, b. Notice if we were operating in the third quadrant, we would have taken the negative square root of a, b. But here we've got the positive square root of a, b. Okay, so this uh, represents uh, the maximum area for A of T. And I guess we would really have to check that with the second derivative test or make some sort of other um, relatively simple argument to do that, but I'll uh, leave that for you to do. So from here, we want to calculate these two areas in blue. So the area between AP and the hyperbola and BP and the hyperbola. So let's do that. And so maybe uh, let's label these. So let's say this one is area one and this one is area two. So if we calculate area one, that will be the integral from A to this value of T, which is the square root of AB. Good. And then notice we're going to have line A p on the top, so I've erased the equation for that, but just as a reminder, the equation for that will be the following. We'll have minus 1 over a times the square root of a b, where I've replaced t, which is what was in the equation before, with the square root of a b, because that's, that's the value we're taking for t. And now this is going to be multiplied by x minus 1 over the square root of a b, and then plus 1 over a. So that's the equation of that line. And now we're going to subtract the equation of the hyperbola, which is 1 over x. Now, if we take this uh, definite integral, we're going to get the following value. So again, I'll let you guys check this. It's pretty easy to see. Notice here we just have a linear function. There we have 1 over x, so we'll get the natural log there. So after some symbolic manipulation involving um, just algebra and the natural log rules, we'll have uh, this. So we'll have uh, b minus a over 2 square root of a b minus the natural log of b over a. Okay, and now we can move on to the area of the second bit. 
So let's see what this will be. So this will be uh, the integral from the square root of a, b, all the way up to b. So remember, this value of t was the square root of a, b. And then we have uh, minus 1 over b times the square root of a, b. So again, we're replacing that value of t with uh, root a, b. And this is multiplied by x plus 1 over root a, b minus 1 over b. And then this is going to be all minus 1 over x because that is the equation of the hyperbola. Okay? But then you guessed right, if you do this definite integral and then perform all the necessary algebraic manipulation, you'll end up with the same value. So you'll end up with b minus a over 2 root ab and then minus the natural log of b over a. Okay, so that's the end of the video.